Yo, 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 good morning traders and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Uh, we are back with the USD CAD on this beautiful morning on 19th of June 2019. As you can see from our from this past week, so Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday, we've been eyeing up this USD CAD bad pattern and I did not get engaged because of the time being because it's out of my trading time. And uh, if you go a look, this is 5 p.m. Uh, start of a candle, so it closes from 10 p.m. and that's when I uh, then I would have got, got triggered. But currently, how uh, the way it's looking, I believe it will drop down a little bit more to fill you for your targets if you took this for 51 pip and hopefully then for the 97 pips for targets too as well. Besides this thing, uh, nothing else on this pair. Aussie cat. Aussie CAD, what we said yesterday in the evening is the it's price pushing down. So we are in a bearish trend. What I said I'm waiting for is price to push in this kill zone to get some kind of a reaction. We get that, but the risk to reward would, is, is not in our favor. What I see here is that we close below the 50% that I would need. And so in this case scenario, I would still wait for price action to push a little bit higher. Uh, and then get me a lower low lower close candle until that happens i would have nothing i wouldn't be considering trading it besides this and this pair i don't see anything else uh, uh, in my interest aussie usd okay also price has pushed back into that kill zone that i marked yesterday we got a lower low lower close candle right there uh, so the way I would trade it if I back tested it is I would get I would uh, check out the ATR It's six and a half pips. It's seven pips. Let's say seven pips above. This is 91 This no, my stop loss would go like Would go like Let's let's just measure this nine pips. Okay, so 13 so roughly here. This is my stop loss from this candle and then I would take this. Let's measure my win win position. It's almost uh, two to one, roughly. Yeah. So this would be my take profit level would be would be right there. Retest so a little bit higher. So that that is my how I would set up my trade if I back tested it in a five hour to trade this stuff. We'll see what's gonna happen. Euro dollar the stuff continues the saga continues we did close however to yesterday was a good day we did we did close below the lowest low below this week which i was finding as a resistance so on a daily on an hour four an hour one we closed on all of three time frames that i've been watching so i do hope that price action can find a really really strong uh, re resistance and a really really strong push from the sellers and push this uh, 50 60 pips today uh, until it hit my targets once that I can trail my stop loss and finally break even I also made two euros nice two euros on a swap uh, for, since we got into it's one two three four five almost today is the sixth day that I got into this trade we will see what's gonna happen pound dollar pound dollar pushing down uh, hour four hour one and nothing much has been happening for me, so I'll just skip this pair. Not, not nothing much for guys. What I would look for is maybe push back into this kill zone right there. There is a kill zone. This is a part where I'm. I'm. I think I we might get some kind of a uh, resistance in where the sh sellers can show up, and then I would short it again. I believe the price action has still room to go until this level because if you go on a daily this is the lowest close of this of this right support on this left of so this swing in the market and then i believe the price action has still room to go down uh pound yen uh since the flag pattern we had here uh price action is just basically pushing up and uh i don't see i just give me a sec have the opinion or something it did close this would be my second this would be the kill zone on this pair this here because we did make a lower low lower close or lower open and uh, since that time we pushed or uh, we pushed down in the, the price action rolled over now it's pushing back up if we if you got a lower low lower close here if you back to said short it again and with that being said guys this kind of sums up my morning session 
if you like this kind of a content please consider subscribing also on the screen right now you, sh you should see a link that says rit.money.bundle slash bundle which is in a combination a bundle of the ebook or a backtesting sheet and the video tutorials of the kickstart strategies that helped me uh, change my trading to the better and in the ebook i shared everything i wish i knew when i was first starting out trading so you can download the ebook i'm looking forward to seeing in the community of in in my telegram channel uh, which you can get access from the ebook just click on a link pa paste the link in the browser type it in and follow the instructions and with that being said look looking forward to see you in a few seconds in the afternoon session thank you very much and bye yo yo hi guys and welcome back i would say to the afternoon session but that would be a lie it's actually the other day it's 20th of june 2019 in the morning and because yesterday we did get some kind of an action but i was not at home i was not able to record a video i stepped in this morning it's a holiday here in croatia so nobody's working and i have enough time to record a comprehensive video of everything we've been through yesterday and show you in this afternoon so-called afternoon session but bear in mind it's a day after the yesterday okay so here we are yesterday i was showing or in the morning session i was showing you this pattern on the usd cat that was i created a stall at this level right there pushed up a little bit and then rolled over and yesterday after we got the fomc statement it kind of closed you out for both of your positions 52 pips for targets one and then another 95 98 almost 100 pips for targets two which is awesome so you would be able if you took this uh idea and took a trade off of it and if you back tested it you would be up 150 pips which is awesome okay this is one thing that i wanted to share with you i was not able to get engaged in it because uh it's out of my trading time i believe on this pair was out of my trading time there were so many patterns that i don't even know why on some of them i did not get in them okay aussie cat Aussie cat what I said in the morning session is that I, I'm looking at this kill zone because the price action is making lo, uh, new lows new lows new lows and I'm looking to price for price action to get back into this gray area so called the kill zone and make a lower low lower close candle which it did but it made it uh, like here this is at 4 p.m. my time GMT time uh, and this is above actually below the 50 percent that i needed to be above so i was not able to get involved in it because my stop loss would be a, uh, bigger than my uh, p potential win so i didn't get in that trade uh but th that's the idea you know price action sometimes does not give you you won't always get the opportunities to get in a trade you can you know watch the market it's all it's good to know that at least you predicted it right but you were not able to get engaged in it okay so that's that's one thing to bear in mind and then uh let's check the aussie usd the same or almost the same you know we're rolling over making new lows new lows new lows price action came into the kill zone we got a lower low lower close candle that i showed you here and then we got a stop loss here price action started rolling over slowly came three four pips away from my targets one uh for or not targets one targets one are here but a one to one risk reward then the fomc came out and price action actually uh pushed up and closed out for a stop loss which would be if you if you're trading 23 pips then we have an euro dollar now this is my swing trade from the last week and this is how it looks like on a day on a daily time frame i got in on a double top on hour four here we had a one two three four five bearish days and then one uh, consolidation day that we were not able to break above the previous bearish day and now since yesterday's fomc price action is pushing up and we are kind of uh going to the upside to decide that i don't do not like i do hope that later in the day today or just about now uh sellers will come in and push the price down that this is just a retest of this double top i'm making all kind of a uh, technical analysis 61 percent as you can see fib, fib level ratio it's right at that uh v v point at a or the double top so i do hope that uh, sellers will show up and push the price down uh, so it continues to hit my targets one and targets two however from the looks of it li li right now you never know what's going to happen and i might as well just get stopped out for 
loss of 100 and something pips and I was up 200 something pips but it is what it is it's trading I need to follow my trading plan and that's exactly what I I'm doing okay let's move forward pound dollar pound dollar yesterday we had a uh, this is a kill zone that they marked but we never got a lower low lower close candle in this kill zone so the second opportunity would be maybe a Gartley, but this is the this C lag did not touch the 61.8, so it's not a Gartley, and you didn't get a chance to get involved, so you didn't got stopped out. Then we got a pound yen. Uh, we were looking for a lower, low, lower close candle in this kill zone or a Gartley entry. So if you took a Gartley and if you're trading conservative targets or I mean the Gartley targets, if you took it as a pattern and not as a trend continuation strategy, then it would be probably at a break even price point right now or you would be in profit for uh, target one. So let me explain what do I mean. So it all depends, are you, did you get filled for target one? As you can see, but here you would be making 40 pips roughly for target one because price action did roll over, it hit 38.2 fib retracement, but slightly, you know, and it's very hard to know, are you gonna get filled because the spread on pound yen can be above one pip on some brokers. What, what the idea is in my, when I'm trading it, I'm kind of rolling over my stop loss when I get very close to the one to two pips on our one to target one. If you did that and if you did not get filled, what happened is the price action actually uh, rallied up and it closed you out for a break even position. You know, it depends how you're trading it, but this is just my idea. Anyway, it was a good trade if you've been following your plan. However, if you're looking at this from the trend perspective, you are waiting for a lower, low, lower close candle in this gray area in the kill zone. You actually got a lower, low, lower close here at 6 p.m. GMT time yesterday. You would be sure right now your stop loss would be ATR of this candle, which is 22 pips above this high, which would be around here, okay? and you, you are still in a trade. You are slightly suffering the drawdown of 15 pips and you are up in, in total for 35 pips, but you're still in a trade and you're aiming for a retest of this lows right there. I don't know what you're, how you're trading. I just, uh, because I'm not trading this uh, yet because I didn't backtest it, but if you did, did any of these things, it's most important thing is to follow your trading plan and do what it tells you to do. And with that being said, kind of guys, I, I think I summed it all up in one, this so-called afternoon slash morning session. If you like this kind of analysis and this kind of a content, I do this almost on a daily basis, as you can see, and I upload videos when we get some kind of an action. So if you like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. Also make sure to click that like button, smash the bell button, leave a comment below, tell me what you think about this analysis, share a video and let's spread the word so that as many people as possible can see this kind of a content and see the correct approach to Forex trading. Thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon.